What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another story time. And this story time will be on my girlfriend broke up with me. The story time happened really recently. So, um, the story time may contain sensitive topics. So, I, so, viewer discretion is advised. Let's get into the video and enroll that intro. <laughs> So, me and this girl, right, we were dating for about a week, okay? We were dating for a week, and, like, you know, like, we were just doing our typical things that our relationship would have done. Like, you know, I put her name in my Instagram bio, you know, we've done everything. Like, from calling each other babe to even getting into almost a romantic relationship. Um, I ended up calling her Sweet Cheeks a couple nights, a couple nights, and, you know, Usually I end up calling her that all the time. Every night we say, good night, sweet cheeks. Sleep well, babe. I love you. But, you know, I did not know she was literally cheating on me because she always wanted out, wanted to hang out with her best friends. She always wanted to hang out with her friends. She never wanted to hang out with me. She said she wanted to, but she said she was busy. Well, clearly she wasn't. She was literally with her best friends. Like, and little, like, little did I know, she was hanging out with other guys. She was talking to other guys when I was supposed to be the main one with her. Man, literally talking about this makes me sad to this day. I can't even fucking, literally. This girl, like, she was literally cheating on me this whole time. I feel like I was being taken advantage of. Like, literally, I feel like I was being taken advantage of from this girl. Because, literally, she never wanted to hang out with me. She was playing with me this whole time. Like, literally, y'all think I'm fake? I am not fake. If you fucking think I'm fake, well, go fuck off. I am not fake, okay? If you're trying to get with me, well, I'm not desperate. I'm not desperate for ugly hoes. Man, I'm sorry if I offended some of y'all, but I'm just speaking straight facts. Like, honestly, if you desperate, you go for mid-girls. And honestly, Haley, she was a beautiful girl. Like, she had everything, wide eyes, amazing cheekbones, like, damn, if I got to tap that ass, I, I would go, uh, uh, uh. But honestly, y'all, I didn't get that far. We only got in for a week, and, like, like, honestly, I was planning my fucking future with her. Like, long term. Like, literally, like, I thought she was going to be the girl of my life, but literally, I ended up cheating on the other girl that I was with. I ended up cheating on Ava, she was the other girl I was with. And, you know, we all did this... You know, and honestly, I feel like I was being taken advantage of, and I think she was using me to get back at me for cheating on her best friend. Literally. Like, I cheated on her with her best friend. I cheated on Ava, because Haley's her best friend, right? I cheated on Ava with Haley. And honestly, you know, I think she just did that to get back at me. But literally, like, once she said that, like, once my friend Zoe confronted her, like, literally, I was fucking heartbroken. I was fucking heartbroken like the one girl that left me to go to Alabama. And no, it's not some fucking weird-ass sus shit, you know what I'm saying? It's not some weird sus things. But literally, like, when she when she left Alabama, I was fucking heartbroken when Chloe left me. But that but that's a story for another time. Yeah, I was literally heartbroken when she left me like the girl that I loved. And honestly, once I did that, I was fucking upset. Like, I was literally spamming the fuck out of her phone once I found out that Zoe confronted her. I was like, babe, 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 please, no, please, no, please don't cheat on me. No, what did I do to deserve this shit? Like, honestly, what did I do to deserve this shit? Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I loved her, but to this day, we still remain friends. I don't know why. I don't know why I end up remaining friends with my ex. Because usually when you usually when you break up with your ex, you usually end up dumping them and no longer talk to them. You you unadd them, you block them, 
and you don't under and, and you don't ever speak to them again, and you move on. But literally, like she caused me some fucking trauma if I fucking ask y'all. Yes, me. She caused me trauma. Like I'm not gonna lie. I know it's just, like I sound rough in the story time, but you know. Honestly, she put me through trauma, so like, so she got me. She so she got me out of it. But to this day, some nights I still think about her. I still think about her and dream that we were in a relationship. Listen, y'all. If you don't make sure, all right. Listen, y'all. If you're talk, if you're trying to get with the girl, make sure she does not have any guy, any guy friends, and make sure. She cuts off connection with all of her exes and everything. Because you don't want to be ended up like midway fucking through recession, you know what I'm saying? I'm just using this as an example. When you be fucking that girl, you don't want her to be end up getting a call from her ex saying, Hey, baby. And literally, yeah, you'll be heartbroken. So, moral of the story. Alright, hold up. I'm about to say one thing that people are afraid to tell the truth. People are afraid to tell the truth because of the reaction that might come out of other people. Haley was afraid to tell the truth because she was afraid I was going to break into tears and literally end up commit suicide like Will. That's a story for another time. But literally, people are afraid to tell the truth because they're afraid of the reaction. Okay? If you're in a relationship, you tell the damn truth. You're, you don't be a pussy and, and don't tell the truth. I know the story time was a bit, like, upsetting, but I'm just speaking straight facts, okay? Alright, I'm out. Bye.